What's happening, everybody? Seth Topol, host of Locked on Wild, here with five things you need to know about the Wild heading into the 2022-2023 season. Let's start with thing one. The special teams are going to be better for this team this year. We're not going to see the team have bottom five special teams units on the power play and the penalty kill. We've seen a bigger effort to try to clear the puck so far this season. We have also seen the Wild do better with attacking the net, having big bodies in front to try to create rebound opportunities. Plus, you got Kirill Kaprizov anchoring that top power play unit. So I would not expect to see the Wild have similar lack of success on the special teams here this season. Let's move on to thing two. Marco Rossi expected to have a big role with this team. And let me tell you, he is ready for it. Rossi has had a business-like approach throughout the preseason so far. He wants this opportunity and he's doing everything that he can to force the Wilds' hands to give him some top-line minutes for this team. Natural fit would seem to be the second line centering Matt Boldy and Tyson Jost. Might take a little bit for him to get there. But I don't get any sense that Rossi is going to look like the moment is too big for him. He just has put in too much time to fail at this point in his career. So Rossi going to have a uh, big season for the Wild. Maybe a Calder Trophy to boot. We'll just have to wait and see. Thing three, speaking of Matt Boldy, Boldy is going to have a monster season for the Minnesota Wild this year. You're looking for somebody to replace the production of Kevin Fiala who was traded to the Los Angeles Kings. Boldy is the perfect fit to do that. He has looked like a leader so far in the preseason for this team. He has taken advantage of some good opportunities, quarterbacking the power play for the team uh, in the games where he plays and some of the other regulars don't. No better fit than him to build off of his strong rookie season last year and uh, have a monster season this year, offsetting some of that lack of production for the Wild with the loss of Kevin Fiala. The single biggest factor for this team is thing four, the goaltending. That is the one that's going to make or break the season for the Wild this year. You've got Marc-Andre Fleury and Philip Gustafson in the net. If those two struggle, this team is going to have a very hard time offsetting that night in and night out, and it could be a year that the Wild are on the outside looking in for the playoff picture. If Marc-Andre Fleury can capture some of that magic from his Vegas Golden Knights days, and if Philip Gustafson steps in and shows that he is ready for a big role with this team, they're going to be just fine. For what it's worth, the early returns so far in the preseason have looked very good for both Fleury and Gustafson, so hopefully we'll get some more of that, and hopefully it is a goalie tandem that can stay healthy throughout the season as well. That's the one thing about uh, a player like Flurry who's getting up there in age. Father time always wins. Thing five, the breakout player for the Wild this season. We are going with Tyson Jost. He is going to make the most of his opportunity to step into a more prominent role on this team. Had two power play goals the other night uh, against the Avalanche. And he just looks like a player that is determined to carve out a bigger role on this team than simply a fourth-line center. He has been playing wing opposite of Matt Boldy on that line. If that ends up being his fit all season, he's going to have a ton of opportunities to uh, rack up some big stats and be the guy who is the breakout player this year, much like Ryan Hartman and Marcus Foligno were this past season. So there you have it. You are now fully in the know for the 2022-2023 Minnesota Wild. Make sure you subscribe to Lockdown Wild for free wherever you get your podcasts. And also make sure to subscribe on YouTube and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on anything Wild-related all season long.